The CS2 market is back up again and it's in the process of going up in value right now. So it looks like I was correct last time I made my call on what's going to happen to the CS2 market. So we're going to look at some examples of items going up in price right now. But first, check out the day's sponsor. If you're looking to buy skins, the best place to do so is on CSGO Empire. They have the best marketplace out there since you can get any skin for way lower than buff price, either by getting it in an auction on the site or a simple listing. The marketplace has 0% fees, which makes it perfect for trading and flipping skins as well, so you can make a clean 10% profit weekly easily. You can also use the site to cash out your skins into crypto for even higher than 100% buff price, which is leagues better than the 85% buff price that you would get from a normal trader if you sold to them. So check out the CSGO Empire Marketplace with the link in the description. Start using the site and thank me later. Alright, so as I told you last time, I talked about the CS2 market. The market is in the process of starting to balance and go up again. So these right here are some of the Paris Holo stickers. And as you can see, the graph is red on price empire because in the total time period that the graph represents the price has gone down in total but if you look at the end of the line more recently in the last week it started to go up and you can see this on every graph of every sticker in this screenshot so i'm not sure what would compel players to go for items like the paris stickers and some cases as we're gonna see later on once again because there's not much going on in the game at the moment but we can assume this is just because the prices have fit the lowest of the lows that they could possibly hit and people won't ignore these skins long enough to let them go lower in price so pretty much people feel like these stickers slash items and skins don't belong in this price point so they're going ahead and buying them right now so they can invest in them or maybe some people are looking to get them just to play with them in game because they like how they look and they think this is a good opportunity for them to get them but most of the cases right now are in the process of balancing out in price and a few of them are going up a little but an exception to this phenomenon right here is the danger zone case which for whatever reason has gone up about 12% in price in the last week which is crazy it's definitely not something that you would expect to happen in the span of a week for sure but it looks like things are looking good for the CS2 market once again and so if you have your eyes on some investment that hasn't gone up significantly in price yet yet maybe it's time for you to go ahead and cop it but now if you want to see some of the new cs2 knives that are about to come to the game watch this video right here